I'm taking a quick trip. Got a little bit of time this morning. Thought I would start out by throwing this little underspin here, black and blue. Uh, I guess it's a Strike King. And then I just dipped that tail. A little chartreuse there. I make my way down towards that point way down there. Wind's blowing in my direction and it's kind of a funnel point so I think it would be a good place to target some bigger bass, or bass in general, it should stack on that point, so, especially if they've already spawned, which I don't know if they have, but. Change back over to this deal here, run it right along the rocks. Spin. Pretty good sized fish. Not too bad. It's got some good fight in them. Doing this swimming straight out. Coming up, coming up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh. Nice fish. That's an energetic little bugger. On the underspin. So, Strike King, picture is complete. God dang, he's got so much energy. Pretty light colored fish, kind of stained water, so that makes sense, but he's pretty fat still. I would say, uh, I would say they probably haven't spawned, so I'm toss him back, let her get back to her wherever she's got to go. So, take a look at how. That fish just clobbered this thing. Completely twisted my screw lock. In fact, it, it twisted the bait on the screw lock, so. Just destroyed that thing. Oof, got right up in the weeds there. Oh my God. Literally as it landed, that fish came on. Oh, he jumped. Oh, I got off. Shoot. Oh. There's one right there. Ooh, that's got some size to it. The last one. Be a little bigger. Okay. Oof. Feeding up on the underspin, baby. Woo! It's gonna be a good day. Pound five. I would have guessed probably about that much. Maybe a little more, but that's all right. He goes, get him back in the water. So both of those fish have come on this uh, underspin. Just a black and blue, fat bodied, kicktail swim bait from Strike King. That's a four aught uh, Vike tungsten underspin. And then the, uh, I just dipped it in a little chartreuse there. But they were right up against the shore, both of those fish, so. Little smaller, 
this time, but still just loaded on that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This guy has a Ned rig down his gullet. I don't have pliers. I don't want to hurt this fish and he's clearly surviving just fine with it so I think I'm gonna leave it and just release him but I'm gonna get him in quick here without a weight so that I don't stress him anymore okay. right down Perfect. there's a fish the rocks again. Yeah, not a bad one. It's certainly giving me a run. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got some pull. Okay. Oh shoot, he popped out right there. Well, it's what I get for it's what I get for trying to pick the lineup. I should have just flipped. <laughs> Oh well. Hey, you know what? I'm still counting it. I think you guys could see it. Pretty good sized fish. Probably about the same as the last ones. Pound and a half or so. I'm going to go ahead and just try another cast right down that same line. I don't know if they're stacked on points or if they're just singles or what, but no reason there can't be more fish along this shoreline. Right by those cattails. Out a little further. Oh, that was a little far off, but that's all right. It's all right. Oh my God! As it was falling, getting bit. Come on, stay down, stay down, stay down. Okay, stay down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, he's jumping. He's a jumper for sure. Definitely. Acrobat, here it comes again. Oof. Rolling. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Come on, come on, just stay down. Stay down. Okay. Okay. Well, these fish are good fighters. All right. Got them. You can see that guy was barely hooked. The corner of the mouth there, just skin hooked, so. I'm glad I flipped that one because if I would have let him jump again, he would have been gone. Let's get him back in. I have to toss him a little bit. Sorry, buddy. That's all right. He's gone. These fish are so, so high energy. I mean, they are coming up, fighting the whole way. They're f flopping around in your hands. I mean, they are just so high energy. So that's very, very... Uh, pleasing to see that they're so healthy. I think this is as far down this shoreline as I'm going to get. Um, one of the things that other shoreline has that they really seem to be tied to with those bites, not only this bigger rock, but definitely the cattails. And so if you look down this shoreline, that's pretty much the end of it till the very end. So I skipped over a, quite a hefty portion of uh, water there at the very beginning So I think I'm just gonna make my way towards my truck where I parked and fish the, the Good cattaily stuff That they seem to be relating to that I skipped over Striking I gotta hand it to you man. You make a hell of a bait not just the amount of fish bites I'm getting but the fact that I haven't yet had to replace this. Oof. Little guy. What is swimming right now? I can't tell. Ah, squeaker. Dink. Dink, it's not the one that bit me first. That's all right. Hey, I'll take him. I'm gonna get right back in that same spot though and try and 
follow up that bite that I had again, moving down. Yeah, running off with it. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Okay. God, he's like, oh shoot, he's a puller. Ooh, that's a big fish. Okay, I should not have flipped that one. <laughs> okay. That is a decent sized fish. <laughs> and that was a really good hook set to oh, shoot right through the gill plate. There we go. Sweet. I'm gonna get a scale on this one again. Get a quick second weight on this guy and we'll just oh one nine. Kind of threw me off. It looked a lot bigger than the other fish I was catching, but just skin blood, so he's not going to be hurt by this by any means. Okay, let's get a good release on this guy now that I'm right on the shore. Down he goes. I would say the bite has slowed. Of course, I'm overlapping where I already fished, so maybe a little bit to do with pressure, but uh, it's getting warm, so I'll imagine that they're going to start pushing out here, or have been pushing out, so I don't know that it's necessarily that it's slowed, but uh, yeah, they're probably just going to react a little more to a finesse bite, but I need to get rolling anyways so I appreciate you guys watching the video today I hope you enjoyed pretty fun today caught a lot of fish uh, had a lot of fun with that underspin definitely something different for me than I normally use so uh, super happy with that really happy with the results I think today was a good day thank you guys so much make sure to like the video if you like it and uh, Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.